here with easydigitals.com, Photoshop backgrounds and templates for photographers. Today, I'm gonna to show you really quickly how to make a motion blur on a sports ball. And you can do this on any photo, a photo that has the background extracted or one like this that does not have the background extracted. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna come back here and undo what I've done here. And so right here we have our photo and I can zoom in on this. I'm going to come over to my quick selection tool and you can make this larger or smaller with the right and left bracket keys and I'm just going to select the ball really quickly and if something gets selected that I don't want I'm going to press the alt key which make, turns that into a minus and I'm going to take it away. I'm going to press control J to make a duplicate of the selected area which is just the ball so I'm going to press alt and my eyeball so you can see it. There it is. So then I'm going to come up to filter, blur, motion blur. Now you can choose, um, let's see where, here it is, and you can make this a little bit smaller. And you can choose how much of a blur you want and you can choose the direction of the blur. So I'm gonna put it like about right here and my distance at 126 and press okay. And now again, if I show just that, you can see that. If I decide I want to increase that, I can just do the exact same thing by coming to filter and then motion blur again and it'll do the exact same amount. Or I could even duplicate this and give it more of a blur, but I'm going to turn that off for now. So then once you get that finished, you can actually move this around if you want it to be like coming off a little bit or if you wanted to say stretch it, you could press shift and then you can change it and warp it. So once you get this in here, if you wanted to add like a curvature to it, you can come up to edit, transform, and you can't see this on the screen, but there's this one here that says warp. I'm gonna click that. And then you can just warp it, like if you want it to look like it's got a curvature to it. And I'm just gonna curve it here and get it how you want it and then press enter. And you can do it again if you know if you wanted more of a warp, you can just keep changing it and making it uh, look how you want it to look. So that's what I wanted to show you on how to do that. It's pretty simple, and if, and if you like this video, go ahead and give it the thumbs up, and head on over to our website where, and check out our free downloads and our premium products, and have a fantastic day.